Welcome back to my series of solving product order problems in Python. We are now at the 11th problem and this one seems to be all about matrix accesses with very few interesting details. The problem they have given us is to find the sequence of four numbers in any direction that multiplies to the largest product. So one thing I'm thinking about is what directions there are. And if I'm not mistaken there would be four directions. Horizontal, vertical, diagonally up to the right and diagonally down to the right. I can't think of any reasonably smart way to calculate this iteratively, so I will just try all start points and calculate the products in the different directions. It is possible the most complicated part is to get the numbers into the program. So I pasted the numbers into Notepad++ as a big block of text. Then I replaced all the spaces with commas and used the column editing mode to insert an opening square bracket at every line, as well as a closing square bracket and a comma at the end of every line. If you haven't used column editing before, it's something that can be really useful at times. In Notepad++ you do column editing by holding the ALT key and dragging the caret. Other editors have different ways to do this, but, but I think all text editors that are aimed at programming can do this in some way. That done, we now have a list of rows of numbers. And I will just create a loop over every line and over every column. Next, let's check what directions are possible from this position. And also we need to keep track of the largest product. For my own entertainment, I'll also keep track of where the largest product started and what direction it moves in. This can be useful for debugging and for verifying that the program actually does the right thing. So what directions can we look in? That would depend on how close we are to the edge. We need to check that there is room to follow the row or column or diagonal in each of the four directions. And rather than looking for the sequence right away, I'll just save the directions. And then afterwards I can look through all directions in a single piece of code. Once we have all directions, I can loop over the directions and walk the appropriate number of steps in that direction. All the while multiplying the numbers and checking if this is the largest product ever. If it is the largest product ever, then I'm saving the start position and the current record and the direction. And as always, let's see how long this takes. I don't think this will be as fast as some other programs, but it shouldn't take that long. Okay, running Python problem 11 and... Oh, you can't start numbers with this zero in Python. This is probably because numbers that start with zero can be interpreted as octal numbers and rather than having any confusion, they just don't allow it. So replacing all the zeros with space. Uh, that looks good, right? Oh yeah, and I lost the zero too many. Let's see, was there anything else? No, it looks fine. Okay, this will go. 
and now we have a number that is way too small. That can't possibly be their biggest number, right? No, they give an example that is much, much bigger. So what have I done wrong? Hmm. I can't see an obvious problem. So let's just print all the products and see if that tells us something. So, and run it again and we see... Oh! Oh, the number we got was the last number. Did we do a bad check? No, we didn't store the new record in the wrong, at the right place. Okay. This looks better, right? So the biggest number would be 70,600,674. Found at position 15.3 and going upwards to the right. That looks right. Those are some big numbers. I'll leave this problem here. I know that the next one is much more interesting, so welcome back for that one. And please like and subscribe. I have to say that since this is on YouTube, and I'm sure it's in some contract somewhere. See you next time.